Hi everyone, I am Olivia and welcome to another Discovery Crew video. Today, we will be talking about optical illusions or basically how we can confuse your brain. So, our brains are really smart, right? Well, they allow us to learn new things and see and experience the world around us. They are literally responsible for 99.9% .9 of what we do. But did you know that it's actually really easy to confuse your brain? Look at this image for a few seconds. Notice anything a bit weird about it? It's moving, right? But focus on just one point in the image. It's actually still. Your brain is just confused and thinks the image is moving. This is an optical illusion. They are some of the best ways to trick your brain. And today, we are going to experience some of them. To help itself work quickly enough, your brain assumes that things happen consistently in the world. This works great 99% of the time, but you don't even notice you're doing it. But it can lead to some pretty silly mistakes within the brain sometimes. We have three main types of optical illusions. These are cognitive, literal, and physiological. Each type of illusion stimulates a different part of the brain. First, let's take a look at cognitive illusions. Look at this image on the screen. What do you see? Is it a vase or people? Well, both are correct. Try to see if you can switch between seeing the two. This is a great example of an illusion. It was created by Edgar Rubin back in 1915. It's called Rubin's vase. It's a cool illusion, but how does it work? When first looking at the image, our brains want to identify different objects and the relationship between these objects. It does this by establishing depth or the relative distance of these objects from us by looking at which objects surround the other. For example, this tree appears to be surrounding the rugby ball. Therefore, the tree must be behind the ball. This illusion, however, does not allow for the brain to do this because it shows the people and the vases at the same depth. Therefore, your brain goes to plan B, which is shapes. Your brain scans the outline of shapes and it looks for familiar patterns and objects. This is called the Gestalt Principle. The law of human perception basically states that the human brain likes to group elements of an image, recognize patterns, and organize things that it sees. This is what your brain is having to do. You'll either recognize the vase or the people. Most likely the vase because it is depicted as a texture rather than the silhouette, which is how the people are being shown. However, your brain will eventually pick up on the people and it'll keep switching back and forth. Cool, right? Now, let's have a look at some literal illusions. Look at this elephant. Just looks normal. Right? Take a closer look at its legs and feet. Weird, right? Your brain initially didn't notice the five feet and the five legs. So why did your brain make such an obvious mistake? Well, when first looking at the image, your brain scans the outline of an object and it determined that it was an elephant shown in the photo. We all know that elephants have four legs, therefore, your brain just assumed that the elephant in the image was the same. Then, your brain gathered a bit more information about the elephant, and that's when it noticed that something looked funny with the legs and the feet. The last type of illusions are called physiological illusions. These illusions are the least understood and play with different shapes, colors, and patterns in a specific sort of relationship to confuse and overwhelm your brain. Take a look at this image and stare at the very center of the image. Wait for about three to five seconds. The snakes are moving, but it's an image, not a video. Don't believe me? Look at a different part of the image and it'll stop moving. This illusion creates a 
perceptual sort of experience and motion and was created by Japanese scientists in 2003. Scientists aren't yet totally sure about how these illusions work, but there is an idea. In 2003, Scientists propose that the illusion works by the fact that high color contrast areas are processed faster than areas with low color contrast. The outside of the snakes have the highest contrast of colors, whereas the center of the snakes have the lowest contrast of colors. In nature, when your brain sees a bright spot in your visual field, which transitions into a dark spot, this will often mean that something is moving in the direction towards where the bright spot went. So, when an image has so many stimulating bright spots next to dark spots, your brain naturally assumes movement. We see illusions in our everyday lives. For example, have you ever heard of a mirage? Mirages often appear on warm days when the ground is hot and the air above is relatively cold. The hot ground heats the thin layer of air above. As light moves through the warm air above the ground, it is refracted or bent as it enters the eye. Our brain assumes that the reflected light followed a straight line when traveling to our eye, and therefore we naturally trace a straight line to find the source of the light. A straight line would put the source of the reflected light appearing on the ground. With this information, our brain determines that it's seeing a pool of water, when in re reality, it's just seeing an image of the sky above. Another example is how the moon appears to be larger when it's closer to the horizon compared to when it's high in the night sky. The moon is actually the same size no matter what point in the night sky it's in. Just, our brain is tricked into making it seem like it's bigger closer to the horizon. The best theory to explain this is the relative size theory. In particular, something called the Ebbinghaus theory. This states that if an object is the same size and it's surrounded by smaller shapes compared to the same object, being surrounded by larger shapes, the ones surrounded by the smaller shapes will appear bigger. This provides an explanation for the moon illusion. As nearer to the horizon, the moon is in the same field of view as other familiar objects, such as buildings and trees. When the moon is in the sky, it is surrounded by large, empty spaces, so it appears smaller. Optical illusions are a great way to help scientists understand how the brain interprets light, as well as being a fun way to confuse your brain. That's it for today. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. Join our community and share tips and ideas on our website as linked below. Bye crew and see you next time.